What's going on guys, Mr. Jason back here again with another episode of the unboxing meal packages out of Prince Blu-rays, DVDs, and sometimes video games. Doesn't happen too often, but on occasion. But we got a few packages here for this episode. Um, I got quite a few more coming, so I might have to save those for another one. But guys, if you're curious to see what we have for this episode, just stay tuned. You see, Jason was my son. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to start this. Should we do red or uh, I don't even know. I forget what, what they call this. We'll start with this one just because it was the only one in my hand once I dropped all the others. But hopefully everybody is doing well and enjoying themselves and had a happy Thanksgiving. And I know what I'm thankful for. Of course, you know, the usual family and all that good stuff and the food and life itself. But I'm also thankful for this. Because I've never had any luck with getting this for a used price in this condition. But here we have the very rare Never Ending Story Part 3 on DVD. Take a journey beyond your imagination. The Never Ending Story 3. Escape from Fantasia. I usually pay 4 or $5 for this used. And you know most people are, should already know this when stores do buybacks. They don't open up the sealed items. They just take them and they sell them as used so this one's still sealed i got lucky with this one i don't know what it goes for brand new i'm gonna say maybe like 25 to 30 but used it can go for like 15 to 20 sometimes 25 it's another fluctuating price but i'm gonna say i the i could probably get 40 maximum brand new i'm not 100 percent sure but i either paid four or five i can't remember but as usual i'll be putting up the price and the value and all that right there what i paid but i'm happy and thankful for this one right here i usually always get it used like actually used but this one showed up brand new which i'm happy about but now we got four left we're gonna get into the big red zia records i mean it just stands out right there you can't really do much about that but i just recently started buying from these guys it's for the most part their items are usually on par with the online prices for what they go for online but you can catch them slipping sometimes, so I check just in case. And here we have, this one I'm torn on, I don't know if I want to keep this for myself to sell it, but we got the West Cra Craven double feature Blu-ray of They and Cursed. Cursed itself is very rare and hard to find on Blu-ray, so I, I've never actually saw that back in the day when it first came out. What year did this even come out? This double feature came out in 2012 apparently, so from Echo Bridge. Not 100%. Oh, 2006 is when Cursed came out. I kind of always wanted to see it, but never did for whatever reason. So I'm 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 sure I saw they. I can't remember. But um, yeah, to find this for ten dollars, I paid ten. I looked it up. It goes for like thirty-five to forty. So I don't know. I'm kind of torn because they st maybe I'll just watch it before I sell it. I'm not sure yet. Or maybe I'll just sell it. I really don't know. But for the most part, I can't just spend all the money that I'm that I'm you know, making from the profits and whatnot and buy stuff constantly just for myself. Unless it's something that's worth not really that much value. But this, I spend 10, I can get at least 25 to 30. So that's like a decent amount of profit that I might not want to lose, you know, I don't know yet. It's always difficult to make those decisions. But anyways, we're gonna move on. We got They Curse Double Feature Blu-ray. I paid 10, it can go for about 35 to 40. But now moving on. To the next one, my cat just jumped up on her perch, but for some reason it's not in the frame, so you can't really see it. That's kind of why I looked up. But let's see if I can get this package open with no problem. All right, here we go. At least these mailing envelopes, they don't make that difficult to open. They got their own special ones. And here we have another double feature DVD of Halloween 4 and 5. <laughs> if I find these... Not as often as Spice World, but I've gotten maybe probably four or five of these in the last few months or so. I paid 15 for this one. I usually pay 7 but I got this, of course, from a different store, and their prices are a lot different than what I'm used to getting. But still, $15. I can sell this for like $50, $45, maybe $60, $45 to $60, I should say. But I paid 15 so it's still a good, decent amount of profit. Can't complain on this one. Moving on. We got two left here. Let's see what we got. What is it? 
What are we gonna find? What is it? All right, I know what this one is because it's between cardboard boxes. They usually only do that. Uh, never mind, I'm wrong. They usually do that for CDs. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I know what it is, but womp womp, Ron. But here we have Night of the Demons remake. I think the thing wanted to fuck me. Blu-ray without the slipcover, sadly. I already have that one for myself in my own collection. But I looked this up recently, and I had no idea that it's somewhat rare and uncommon. It goes for like 25 to 30. I paid, I believe, eight dollars for this Night of the Demons remake on Blu-ray. So decent profit. You can do eight, to, or I don't even know if it's eight to ten, but you'll be seeing it up here. So either way, eight to ten, 25 to 30. It's a decent amount of profit right there for this. Last but not least, it is what I thought was in the previous envelope, but this one's nothing that much profitable, profitable, right? Yeah, but it's still something since it was cheap enough anyways. And I had no idea that these were actually somewhat uncommon and people actually wanted. And I'm actually right though, usually they do the cargo with the CDs, but they did it for a Blu-ray too as well. But here we have the soundtrack to Rob Zombie's Halloween, the first one. The second one's actually worth more. I know these this these soundtracks from Rob Zombie actually has really good music on here, so I can see why people want it. Me, personally, I love soundtracks that put dialogue from the films after each song, which Rob Zombie did for all his soundtracks. I have them all. Well, I think I have all the soundtracks for most of his movies anyways, but... This one I paid 5 I can sell it for like maybe 15 maybe 20 20 might be pushing it, but... Still a decent amount of profit for that one. But that's actually the last package. Like I said, I have a few more coming though. I'll, it'll be enough for another episode, so I'm just going to leave these as its own episode. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode right here... Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Let's let's take this back. I have to do my stack showing right here. Boom. But there's the stack. But guys, drop some comments down below. Let me know what you thought about these pickups. If you have any of these in your collection... If this is new to you, finding out that these are actually worth something, and if you're into the reselling situation, there you go. Now you know. Keep an eye out. What is it? Bolo? Be on the lookout. But uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. And if you already are subscribed, guys, you know I appreciate you all. And everybody stay safe. Um, you might as well say it now. Have happy holidays. Merry effing Christmas. But, um... You'll see me again before then, so. But guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care.